Bangladesh successfully generated world opinion in Rohingya issue, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells Parliament. Parliament passes Motor Vehicle Bill 2018 and Digital Security Bill 2018. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina distributes financial assistance among sick, insolvent, injured and families of killed journalists. Prime Minister urges journalists to play creative and responsible role in country's welfare. Next national election to be held in time beyond doubt says Road, Transport and Bridges Minister. Politicians and cultural activists need union to ride over terror militancy, communalism, falsehood and rumour, comments Information Minister. International Crime Code starts probe into Myanmar's genocide of Rohingya people. In AFC Under-16 Women's Football 2019 Qualifier, Bangladesh blow away Lebanon, 8 goals to Nis. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the news at 10 p.m. This is Asif Rahman with the news in BTV World. And I'm Ali Kambri. Those were the highlights, now the details. Prime Minister and Leader of the House, Sheikh Hasina, reaffirmed her government's determination to send back the Rohingya people to the homeland, asserting that there is no scope for them to stay in Bangladesh for a long term. The Prime Minister made the remarks while replying to a question during her question and answer session in the House this afternoon. The Leader of the House said her government made all-out diplomatic efforts and held discussions on Rohingya issue with countries concerned. The Prime Minister said Bangladesh received a huge response from all the countries to put pressure on Myanmar so that they take back the nationals. Some countries put pressure directly and openly, while some created pressure indirectly or informally. Even China and India have taken a decision to build houses for them in Rakhine state of Myanmar, she said. Replying to a question, the Prime Minister said her government has undertaken plan to construct five mass rapid transit, two bus rapid transit, three tyre elevated ring road and six expressway and 21 transportation hubs along with improvement of traffic management, traffic safety and reform of bus transport sections. Two bills were passed in the Parliament today. The bills are Motor Vehicles Bill 2018 and Digital Security Bill 2018. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Badul Qadir and Post Telecommunication and Information Technology Minister Mustafa Jabbar moved the bills which were passed unanimously. In the question and answer session, Home Minister Sadhu Zaman Khan told the House that 83,000 323 smugglers were arrested following filing of 62,447 cases from January to June and through conducting anti-smuggling drive to build a drug-free society. In response to another question, Home Minister told the House that detective surveillance has been enhanced to prevent anybody creating any anarchy by spreading falsehood, rumour and fake news through Facebook. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urged journalists to use their professional skills for countries' greater interest, saying the freedom of press should not be used in a childlike manner. Her government fully believes in freedom of press, however, it should not be used in childish manner and everybody should remain careful about this, she said, adding that media should play a due role in welfare of the country.
The Prime Minister was distributing checks of financial assistance from journalists' welfare trust among six financially insolvent and injured journalists in accidents at a function in Prime Minister's office today. The Premier said her government has assumed power in 2009 with the promise of changing the fate of people. Now everybody would acknowledge that fortune of the people of the country has really changed, she said. Sheikh Hasina said her utmost goal is to materialize the dream of father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, to build a happy and prosperous Bangladesh as she thinks it is her duty. So she has never bothered who wrote against her or in her favor. The Premier said anybody that has the right to give speech and she always believes in it. So her government never gagged the mouth of anybody, rather has taken the necessary initiatives to protect the rights of media. Pointing out the steps taken by her government for welfare of the journalists, the Premier said, her government has constituted the welfare trust for the journalists in line with their experience that none stand beside them during the days of the views, particularly when they lost job or fell in any accident. The Prime Minister announced giving Taka 20 crore more donation to the Bangladesh Journalists Welfare Trust Fund. Information Minister Hassan al Hokinu presided over the function of distributing checks of financial assistance from Journalists Welfare Trust among sick, financially insolvent and injured journalists in accidents at Prime Minister's office. Among others, Information Secretary Abdul Malik, Prime Minister's Media Advisor Iqbal Subhan Chaudhary, Chairman of Parliamentary Standing Committee on Information Ministry A.K.M. Rahmatullah and State Minister for Information Tarana Halim spoke on the occasion. Speakers urged the journalists to play role against all social malfunctions for the well-being of the nation. The newly appointed German ambassador Peter Fahren Holz has praised the socio-economic development of Bangladesh, especially the present GDP rate. He said the 7.86% GDP is really a big achievement of the Bangladesh government. Danvoy said this while presenting his credentials to President Mohammed Abdul Hamid at Bangabhavan this afternoon. On arrival at the Bangalhavan, the new envoy was given guard of honor by a contingent of President Guard Regiment. <laughs> Welcoming the new German envoy, President Abdul Hamid said that bilateral relations in the field of trade and investment with Bangladesh are excellent. The President described Bangladesh as a country of huge potentials and urged the new envoy to work for enhancing German investment in Bangladesh. Billing Germany as one of the significant development partners of Bangladesh, President Abdul Hamid expressed hope that development cooperation would be expanded in the days to come. During the meeting, the new German ambassador, Peter Farenhaus, lauded the role of Bangladesh government for rehabilitating Rohingyas who fled to Bangladesh territory from Rakhine state of Myanmar. The ambassador hoped that the international quarter would continue its effort to resolve the Rohingya crisis. Foreign secretary and secretaries to the president were present. Later, newly appointed ambassador of North Korea to Bangladesh, Pang song Yo presented his credentials to President Mohammed Abdul Hamid at Bangabhavan. On arrival at Bangabhavan, the new envoy was given guard of honor by contingent of President Guard Regiment. Welcoming the new envoy, President Abdul Hamid hoped that existing relations between Bangladesh and North Korea would be expanded during his assignments. The President praised the initiatives to enhance the ties between North Korea and South Korea and hoped that the two countries would get benefit from it. During the meeting, the North Korean envoy said his country attaches importance to its relations with Bangladesh. The envoy sought the President's cooperation in discharging his duties. Foreign Secretary and Secretaries to the President were present on the occasion. 
Norwegian ambassador to Bangladesh, Cecil Blyken, has made a courtesy call on Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmi Chaudhry at the Parliament building today. During the meeting, they discussed issues including women empowerment in Bangladesh, parliamentary democracy, and women participation in 11th Parliament. The Speaker said the present government, led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, has adopted every step conducive to countries, women resulting in greater participation of women in administration, politics and business. The ambassador said Norway is working with Bangladesh Bank in empowering women, especially creating women entrepreneurs through small loan programs. Later, the Norwegian ambassador visited the Joita Cafe located at Parliament Building. Information Minister Hassanul Haq Inu said politicians, cultural activists have, be, have to work from a single platform for winning the battle against militancy, terrorism, communalism, falsehood and rumour. He said this while addressing the capstick ceremony of a new film, Gangjil, in the capital today. The film will be made from a novel by road transport and British Minister of Adul Qadir. Struggle of the people of Gangil Chor under Noah Kali is portrayed in the novel. Naim Imtiaz Niamul will direct the film with actors Ferdos Purnima and Ritu Porna of Kolkata playing three key roles. The function was addressed among others by State Minister for Information Advocate Tarana Halim, Cultural Affairs Minister Asadu Zamanur and writer of the novel and Awamili General Secretary Obadul Qadir. Darana Halim said all cinema halls across the country will be renovated to revive film industry. Hassanul Haq Inu urged all cultural activists to raise their voice against militancy, communalism and falsehood. After the function talking to journalists, Abadul Qadir said, next general election will be held in due time following the constitution about which none can cast doubt. The newly appointed representative of Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO in Bangladesh, Robert Douglas Simpson, has presented his credentials to Foreign Minister Abul Hassan Mahmud Ali at the Foreign Ministry in Dhaka today. During the meeting, Mahmud Ali briefed the FAO representative about the actions taken by the government to ensure food security in Bangladesh. He also briefed about the recent development of the Rohingya crisis. The FAO representative told the Foreign Minister that FAO wants to further strengthen its cooperation with Bangladesh. Now, the international news. The International Criminal Code, ICC, has opened a preliminary examination into Myanmar's alleged crimes against its Rohingya Muslim minority. The move could pave the way to full investigation into Myanmar's military crackdown that has seen thousands killed and over seven lakh displaced. On Tuesday, ICC prosecutor Fatal Ben Soda said the initial probe which could lead to a formal investigation by the ICC could focus on a number of alleged coercive acts that possibly led to the forced displacement of Rohingya Muslims. She said that these might include deprivation of fundamental rights, killing sexual violence, and forced disappearance, destruction, and looting. The military launched a crackdown in Myanmar's Rakhine state last year. Hundreds of thousands have fled since to neighboring Bangladesh. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has agreed to shut one of the country's main missile testing and launch sites, says the South President Moon Jae-in. After the meeting in Pyongyang, the two leaders agreed on a way to achieve denuclearization, said Moon. The agreement was described by Kim as a leap forward towards military peace on the peninsula. North Korean leader Kim also said he hoped to visit Seoul in the near future. Now news on sports.
Bangladesh girls crushed Lebanon by eight kills to nil in the second match of the AFC Under-16 Women's Championship 2019 qualifier at the Bir Sreshto Shaheed Sibahi Mohammad Mustafa Kamal Stadium in the capital today. Sajida Tahura and Shamsun Naha Jr. struck a brace while Anai Mojini and substitute Rojin Akhtar netted one goal each in the one-sided affair through a tough game was expected from Lebanon. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Bangladesh successfully generated world opinion to Rohingya issue, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells Parliament. Parliament passes Motor Vehicles Bill 2018 and Digital Security Bill 2018. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina distributes financial assistance among six insolvent, injured and families of killed journalists. Prime Minister urges journalists to play creative and responsible role in country's welfare. Next national election to be held in time beyond doubt, said Road Transport and Bridges British Minister. Politicians and cultural activists need union to ride over terror, militancy, communalism, falsehood and rumour, comments Information Minister. International Criminal Court starts probe into Myanmar's genocide of Rohingya people. And in AFC Under-16 Women's Football 2019, qualifier Bangladesh blow away Lebanon, 8 goals to nil.